Hello, I am Ari, a colleague at Entrust Data Card. In this video, I will be demonstrating the user cleaning procedures for the desktop retransfer series printers, which includes the CR805, CR825, and CE875. Proper cleaning techniques will help minimize print quality issues, card transport errors, and a variety of other issues that an uncut printer may experience. This video is for the end user, IT support, and field techs. There are two types of cleaning, routine cleaning and additional cleaning. This video is part one of a two-part series. The first video describes the cleaning procedures that must be done each time the ribbon is changed. The second video describes additional cleaning procedures that should be done if you are experiencing specific issues with car jams or print quality. The routine cleaning procedures begin with running an isopropanol cleaning card through the printer each time you replace the ribbon. The cleaning card will clean and rejuvenate the rubber rollers, allowing them to better grip the cards as they move through the machine. Each new ribbon comes with a new cleaning sleeve. The new cleaning sleeve should be installed onto the cleaning spindle prior to its installation back into the printer. Cleaning the print head is the next step in the routine cleaning process. The last step is to clean the rear fan filter, if present. This should be done every three months. Let's take a look at the cleaning kit. The cleaning kit contains the following supplies. 10 pack of isopropanol cleaning cards, a five pack of adhesive cleaning cards, a five pack of cleaning swabs, a five pack of cleaning sleeves, 12 pairs of inspection gloves, two lapping sticks, and one lapping stick support guide which should be saved for future use. Each of these items can be ordered separately. Every cleaning kit also includes a printed copy of the cleaning guide for the retransfer series printers. This guide describes, in detail, the same procedures that I will show you in this video. I will now demonstrate the routine cleaning procedures that are to be done each time a new ribbon is loaded into the printer. First, we will clean the printer with an isopropanol cleaning card, followed by cleaning the print head, and lastly, replacing the cleaning sleeve. We will need to do a couple of tasks prior to cleaning the printer. First, we will need to unlock and open the printer. Not all printers have locks. Once the printer is open, we will remove the ink, ribbon, and retransfer film cartridges and set them to the side. After the cartridges are removed, the cleaning spindle should be taken out. After the supplies are removed, we can close the access door. When setting supplies down, set the cartridge on its legs. Next, we will open the input hopper and remove the unused cards. We recommend the use of gloves when handling cards, and cards should always be handled by their edges. For now, we will leave the card input hopper open. The printer is now ready to be cleaned. Open the cleaning card package and remove the isopropanol card. Load the cleaning card into the input hopper Make sure you do this quickly so the isopropanol card will not dry out. Close and lock the input hopper. If your printer includes a multi-hopper as shown here, you will follow the same steps. The only difference will be where you put the isopropanol cleaning card. Once it is loaded in the exception slot, you will follow the same procedure as if you only have the single hopper. To initiate the cleaning, we will use the LCD panel. We start this by pressing the user button. The display will now show suspended menu available. Next, we will press the enter button 
The display will change to Main Menu Maintenance. We will press the Enter button again to enter the Maintenance submenu. The first option in the Maintenance submenu is Cleaning Card. We will press Enter again, which shows the isopropanol option. Press Enter again, and we see the option to start. We will press Enter again, and the printer will prompt you to insert a cleaning card, which we have already done. Pressing the User button will initiate the cleaning. The printer will now pull the isopropanol card in and run it through the length of the printer and up into the vertical option. When the cleaning card is finished, if the printer has locks, it will place the card into the reject tray. If it doesn't, the card will be placed into the output hopper. When the cleaning cycle is complete, open the printer and remove the card from the reject tray. This leaves the printer ready for the next step, which is cleaning the print head. To begin cleaning the print head, the printer has to be powered off. To clean the print head, you will use the lapping stick support guide, a lapping stick, and a cleaning swab. With all of the supplies already taken out of the printer, you will insert the lapping stick support guide onto the cartridge guide posts. The pink paper is the lapping paper. It should not be removed from the stick. Next, you will insert the lapping stick all the way into the lower portion of the guide. Move the lapping stick back and forth three times. Remove the lapping stick. Save the lapping stick as it can be used two times one time for each side. To remove any debris that the lapping stick may have loosened from the printhead, we will use the cleaning swab. Open and remove the cleaning swab from its package. This time, insert the swab centered on the support tool. Move the swab back and forth three times. Remove the swab, remove the support tool, and that completes the cleaning of the print head. Before putting the cleaning spindle back into the printer, we will replace the cleaning sleeve with a new one for the final step of the routine cleaning process. Pull the old sleeve off the spindle and replace it by sliding the new sleeve onto the spindle. Remove the protective wrapper from the cleaning sleeve the old cleaning sleeve and a protective wrapper can be discarded. You can now replace the cleaning spindle into the C3 slot and install the ink ribbon and retransfer film cartridges. We are now going to reload the cardstock. After the cardstock is loaded, we can lock the printer. The last step in the routine cleaning process is to clean the rear fan filter. Not all printers have this installed. If your printer includes a rear fan filter, clean the filter every three months. Unlock the printer and open the printer access door. Press the K3 rear access door release to open the rear access door. Now we'll lift up and remove the filter from the fan mount.
Rinse the filter with cool water. Shake off the excess water and then pat it dry with a paper towel. After the filter is completely dry, you're going to insert the filter into the fan mount. You'll close the access door and close the printer access door and then lock the printer.